Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and in this lesson we're going to be solving one-step equations with multiplication and division. Remember what we've done in previous lessons and things that we've seen before. When we're given an equation like this, 2x is equal to 4, our goal is to get x completely by itself. That's what we mean when we say solve. When you're solving an equation, you're solving for the variable. What is x actually equal to in this case? And you can probably look at this and say, I know 2 times x, 2 times 2 is 4. But what, what I'm going to do in this is show you step by step how you actually solve for the value of x. And that way, when the equations get a little bit more complicated, they'll still be doable because you're going to follow the same exact steps. So the first thing you need to do is to, to isolate x by itself. I need to use inverse operations. And I'm going to keep this over here as a reminder, even though our variables will change. But to get the variable by itself, you have to do the inverse operation. In this case, it's 2 times x. So the inverse operation would be division, dividing by the coefficient of 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times x leaves us with just x on the left side. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So when we solve that equation, x is equal to 2. Now, we knew that at the beginning because 2 times 2 is 4. But you're going to see when our equations get more complicated, we still follow the same steps, and it helps us to get where we need to go. All right, here's one with division. This says a divided by 3 is equal to 12. So the opposite, or the inverse operation, again, we're isolating the variable, in this case a, you need to use the inverse operation. So the inverse, or the opposite, from dividing a divided by 3 would be to multiply times 3. So I multiply both sides of the equation times 3. Notice I added 3 times on both sides of that equation. 3 times a over 3, they will cancel each other out. So I'm left with just a on the left side. 3 times 12 is 36. Now you can check your work by substituting a equals 36 back into the original equation. Is 36 divided by 3 equal to 12? If that's the case, then our work is correct. So let's try this one here out. This is 1 third y is equal to, to negative 7. Now when we have an equation like this, we're saying 1 third times y. So the opposite of 1 third times y is actually to say, well, I'm going to divide both sides by 1 third. But you can't really write that down. You can't write it down 1 third divided by 1 third. So instead, I'm going to multiply times the reciprocal of 1 third, which is 3. 3 times 1 third is equal to 1. Remember, a number multiplied by times its reciprocal gives you 1, and that will eliminate what I have here in front of y. I also multiply the other side times 3, and my final result is that y equals negative 27. Notice the negative number really didn't change the process. Having negatives in there does not really matter. We just multiply or divide according to the rules of positive and negative numbers. Won't really change much. So with this one here, we have a similar situation. We want to get rid of that fraction. This will be the last question that we do. And when you're getting rid of fractions, you multiply times the reciprocal, which is the inverse of multiplying times the fraction. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides of this equation times 5 over 4. 5 over 4 times 4 over 5 will equal 1, and 1k one is just k. Now I'm going to take the left side of this equation and get rid of all of that to leave me with k. The right side of this equation, I had 4 over 5 times 12. And that's the same as 4 over 5 times 12 over 1. So in other words, we're just multiplying 5 times 12 and dividing by 4. 5 times 12 is 60. 60 divided by 4 is 15. And again, you can always check your work. Does 4 over 5 times 15 give you 12, and it does. So we can check our work, and that's how we would solve for multiplication and division questions when you just have one-step equations. And by one-step equation, I mean you only have to do one operation. You're just multiplying the inverse or reciprocal 
or you're dividing to undo multiplication. All right, so we're just doing one-step equations with multiplication and division.